understand multiplications conceptually. So let's begin by the definition of multiplication. If you have m times n equals p, then m refers to the number of groups, and n refers to the number of units in each group, and p is the total number, or we call product. So let's take an example. 3 times 5 equals 15. We can, this example shows there are three plates, and there are five cookies in each plate. So the total will be 15 cookies. Three plates of five cookies can be seen as 5 plus 5 plus 5. So this definition of multiplication really actually involves multiplication as repeated addition. Let's try to apply the definition of multiplication to determine the number of ladybugs in this picture without counting all the bugs. And then you write a corresponding equation. Now we can have interpret this picture in two ways. We can see it as five groups of eight. That means it's five times eight equals 40, right? Or we can see it as eight groups of five. You can see there are actually eight columns and in each column there are five ladybugs. So the first representation, five times eight, is actually, be, can be interpreted as eight plus eight plus eight, five times. Whereas the second representation at the bottom is eight times five can be understood as five plus five plus five, eight times. So that's two way of uh, interpreting this picture. All right, we can see it as five times eight with the multiplier being five, or eight times five with the multiplier being eight. So this is how to understand multiplication as repeated addition conceptually. Now let's review. M is called the multiplier, N is called the multiplicand, and P is called the product. Now, M refers to the number of groups. It actually doesn't have a unit, but P usually has a unit, right? In this case, we have eight bucks in each group. So the number of bucks is actually considered the units. And we can see five groups of eight bucks is equals to 40 bucks. So this is to understand multiplication as repeated addition or equal groups. So there's actually to another way to interpret multiplication. So the second way is multiplication as a product of two factors. How is this different from the first type? The second type of multiplication, we give equal status to both the factors, right? So M and N, we are, they are called factors. Now we can interpret the product P as a multiple of M and P is also a multiple of N, right? Or we can say M is a factor of P or N is a factor of P. Now how is this different from the repeated addition type of multiplication? The difference is that the unit for P actually depend on both the unit for M and the unit for N. Let's take a look at an example. Now, if there are five workers, each working for eight hours, then the size of the project is considered 40 worker hours. Th that means this project can be achieved by having 10 workers, each working for four hours, or two workers, each working for 20 hours and you can still accomplish the project because the size is 40 worker hours. So as you notice, the units for the size of the project have both worker and hour. In geometry, this way of understanding is used in interpreting the area. 
let's consider the area of a rectangle with a width of 5 inches and the length of 8 inches. Its area is 40 inch inches, but we write it as 40 inch square. So now you understand why the square, why we have the units called inch square. It's actually inch, inch, yeah? All right. So with that, thank you very much. Hope this has helped you.